Okay, can you guys hear me? Just give me a thumbs up. Okay, we're recording. Now if we can get the screen back, that's gonna be a miracle. <laughs> okay, can someone message me and tell me that they can see that screen? Dara, can you just message me? And then we will get started. I can see it. Okay, awesome, thank you, okay. All right, so thanks guys, sorry about that. I, I don't know where it went, I'm all confused tonight. Um, but we'll get started. So I did say that we were gonna have some prizes tonight, so if you stay till the very end of the call, you will go into a draw for one of our Fit Neat tanks or a personal development book. So stick around till the very end. So I did want to start off the call tonight with a couple shout outs. I know we don't do weekly calls, but um, so I probably will end up missing some people from time to time, but this is the first week that I'm going to try and do a couple shout outs each, each team call. And of course, a big shout out to Shauna for becoming an Emerald, Emerald coach. I think that was last week. And of course, to Megan, who is a diamond coach now, which is such a huge accomplishment. She has worked so hard for a long time and is building this incredible team. And I couldn't be more proud of her. And I know we have some more exciting things that are happening tomorrow. So I, I can't really announce them yet because in uh, Beachbody world, nothing becomes official until midnight tonight. But definitely keep your eyes peeled on our page because we've got some big news tomorrow. So that's very exciting. Congratulations to you both. And I wanted to welcome all of our new coaches. This is like just so incredible to me. Um, two years ago, never ever did I think that this whole thing was going to become what it has become. And I just want to welcome everyone. And it's just such a fun group of women and a few men and who knows, we may get more and more men as time goes on. But I do really feel like we're just one big family. And I want all the new coaches to know that, um, you know, we are all here to help each other. There is no sort of I in this team. There's just all of us helping each other. So please reach out to any of us. And if we can't get you an answer, we will figure it out together and get you started off right. So tonight, I just wanted to talk about a couple different really important things that are going to help everyone have a successful business. No matter if you're just starting out with this journey or if you've been here with us for a while, um, you know, these, I think these tips are really gonna, gonna help you. They actually helped me today while I was preparing the call sort of to kind of refocus myself and, and really think about what I was doing and if I was doing all the sort of things that I need to do to keep my business moving forward. So one of those things is figuring out your why and really what your vision is for yourself and this business. And then the second thing that we're going to talk about tonight is um, the simple tasks that you can do every single day that are going to propel you forward. The sort of my tips that have got me to where I am and Megan where she is and Darlene where she is, the things that we've kind of figured out over the last couple years that have really propelled us, propelled us forward and we want to share them with you. You know, I always like to do a call with my new coaches, but it doesn't always happen. You know, we're sometimes busy and we don't get around to it, but I need you to know these simple basic steps that are going to make your business thrive. And one of them is your why, and the second thing is the simple task of hitting Success Club. And if you know those two things, and you know the simple steps to get there, I promise you, you're, you're gonna move forward. You are absolutely going to have a successful business. So I'm gonna teach you, or try to teach you, the most simple ways to get that stuff done. So first and foremost, I think it is so important that we know what our why is. And trust me, 
when I say those words, I, I kind of giggle to myself because when Amy used to talk to me about, Michelle, you need to know what your why is, I would think, oh my gosh, I just wish she would just stop talking about this why business and just tell me what I'm supposed to do. And as I've gone forward, I realize that that is actually what you need to know because there's going to be times that you come upon that everything isn't just you know, roses and rainbows. And your why is going to be the thing that keeps you going. You might have not felt that yet, or maybe you felt that a lot already. And I'm sure some people can agree with me already that your why is what keeps pushing you some days. So whether your business has launched already or you're still, you know, just figuring it out and you're still just reading and watching YouTube, knowing your why and your vision is so imperative to get you through the tough times. And most likely, I'm going to assume that most of us, our why has something to do with freedom. And I just want to want you to sit right now and just ask yourself, you know, what's driving you? What do what was it that made you say yes to this opportunity? Why did you do it? You know, if money was no object, what would, you, what would your perfect day look like? And that's a really fun exercise to actually do. We don't have time to do it tonight, but take a piece of paper and literally jot down what your perfect day would look like and really think about it because you might be surprised at um, what you really want your days and nights to look like. You know, as the owner of your own business, which you all are now, if you are a coach, you have your own business. We are not, I'm not your boss. Your upline is not your boss. We are just here to support you and help you. You have your own business. You make your own hours. You set your own goals. And that is freedom. And it's so amazing to not have people telling you what to do. But there's a stress that comes with that as well. Because if you have a failure, you have no one to blame but yourself. So this is when your why becomes so important because it will be the thing that you can always think back to and keep you going. I think it's really important to have a vision and a mission statement. And that probably sounds kind of quirky to some of you as well. And this is kind of something new that I've implemented for myself, but it really helps me sort of sit back and when, when times get a little bit tough and I'm not hitting success club or I'm getting all these no's, I just keep inviting and I keep going for no and I'm not hearing any yeses. Sometimes I just have to sit back and I have to think, okay, Michelle, you know, why are you doing this? Like, what are you really doing this for? And for me, my mission is to give women hope. I want hope for their future, to help give them the confidence they need to feel completely secure with themselves. Hope that it is possible to be the person they have always believed they could be. I want to help supply them with the tools to get there and support them on their journey to their best selves, their best lives, watching them grow and live the life of their dreams. And that from day one has really been my why for becoming a coach. It really didn't start with a financial reason. It, your why truthfully has to be more than money. Money just isn't enough. Money won't be that thing that will get you through the hard times. You know, you have to really think about what does freedom look like, you, look like to you. The freedom of not having a boss telling you what to do and when to do it. The freedom for me to offer a product and service that I truly believe in, that, work, that has worked for me and I know will work for so many other people. To be able to offer that to people is really important to me. For me, time freedom is huge. I have come from a job that oh, there was no time freedom. I been working every Saturday and every night until about eight o'clock at night for the last 25 years. So for me to be able to put my little girl on the bus and take her off the bus is incredible. I honestly never thought that would happen in my lifetime. So time freedom for me is really important. And maybe it's the freedom to work at home in your pajamas at your kitchen table. Whatever it looks like to you, you need to figure it out. And that's going to be part of your why. 
Once you know the answers to these questions, you can actually start reverse engineering and turning them into action moments and they will get you to your goals. You can start figuring out what your goals are for your future, what your vision is. You know, what do you see yourself doing with this business and how are you going to get there? Your why is what is going to get you there. It's going to get you through those tough times. So after you've figured out your why, which I think is really the most important thing that you can do for yourself, especially if you're right at the beginning of your business, if you can just sort of think about why you're doing this and keep remembering that as you're going through these initial steps, because things don't always happen right away. It does sometimes take a little bit of work to get this business off the ground and it takes courage. You have to get past the fear of a lot of, a lot of different things. A lot of us have different fears that we need to get past when we start this business. And your why is what's gonna kind of push you each and every day. So the next thing that I really wanna go through tonight is, um, some tips for you to really see success in 2016. And as I said at the beginning, Success Club is just so big in this business. That needs to be your goal. And it's really such an awesome thing because Beachbody has given us these, this measurable goal. We can actually see that if we hit Success Club every month, we absolutely 100% are moving our business forward. So it's a measurable, tangible goal that we can see. It's easy to you know, get caught up in all the other stuff when really if you break it down to the very bare minimum, that's what you need to do. It all sort of floats around Success Club. So tonight I really wanna give you some tips on how to get that and get your business up and running or maybe you know, reignite your business and so you can see success this year. First, I wanna talk about KISS, like let's keep it simple. We, we just have to, I am the worst to get off on these tangents. Like I see shiny things and I'm all over the map and I often have to say to myself, okay, Michelle, is what you're doing right now moving your business forward? And lots of times the answer is no. Lots of times I'm scrolling my Facebook feed and looking at what other coaches are doing. And that's not what is getting my business forward. What's moving my business forward is helping other women learn about my, these programs and learn about how I can help them. So you really have to sometimes break it down for yourself and have, um, you know, be really consistent with that. My next tip we're going to talk about is so your social media presence and you know how you need to brand yourself and sort of some of the tips that you need to know so you can you can make your business as profitable and um, make your pages as, as successful as we can. And then we're going to talk about posting with purpose and and I know I talk about this a lot on our team page. But then I go to people's pages and I don't really see posting with purpose. So I want to really break that down for everybody so they can maybe have some examples of some different posts that can really have a great effect on your page. You want to figure out what your passion is and share that with people. So we'll talk a little bit about that and then we'll round it out with sort of raising your standards. And that again is going to kind of go back to your why and go back to your goals. So honestly, this whole business, like I said earlier, all breaks down to this little picture. And if you want to screenshot that and like put it all over your house, because this is really honestly how simple this business can be. And you don't have to make it any more than this. Success Club is the center. Your goal for anyone is to learn how to hit Success Club and do that consistently. And then when you do that, you're going to have full challenge groups and then you're gonna have challengers that are gonna turn into your coaches and then you're going to teach them how to hit Success Club in the most simplistic way as possible. 
you know, my first goal for everyone, for any coach that is on our team is to not have to ever pay for Shakeology again. And what that means is hit, hitting Success Club 5 every single month. And what that means is helping three people a month. That's it. You know, three people a month. So if you talk to five people a week, and I mean, these are like little numbers, but if you talked and reached out, reached out and invited and connected with five people a week and made one challenge pack sale a week, you would get to that goal. Your Shakeology would be paid for. You'd be hitting a really measurable goal for your business and you would start the wheel that will start to really gain momentum. This is where it all starts. It all starts with Success Club. I have never ever missed a month of Success Club. My first month to this month, I've never missed it. It is just a non-negotiable for me. And you know, we all have different goals and I don't want anyone to be on this call thinking, oh my gosh, there's just way too much pressure. If you're on this call, I'm assuming that you are here because you want this, that you know you have goals for your future, your why is strong, and you've signed up for this because you really want to do this. And that's where I was. I really wanted this to make a difference in my life. So I knew I could see that Success Club was the way to go. I needed to do that. So I just kept inviting and talking and connecting until it happened. All the other stuff is extra. The real work is in your private messages and in your talking with people. You know, it doesn't all have to be on Facebook. You can use the phone. You can talk to people at the grocery store, talk to people at work. You know, lots of my first... Um, Challengers were people that I talked to in the salon. Yes, we probably sealed the deal on Facebook, but really the initial connection was made out in the open, in real life. So figure out what is most comfortable for you and just make it a non-negotiable. And I promise if you do that, you are just gonna see this momentum start gaining and you're just going to propel your business forward. We have seen so much growth in this team. You're going to see some more tomorrow and it happens. It takes time, but it happens. I think all of us, we have a diamond line. So there's, there are my coaches that are sort of very, very close to diamond or our diamond coaches. And someone the other day said, you know, when they say, if you can stick around for a year and just be really consistent for a year, it all starts coming together and all the things that I kind of been harping on really do happen. So if you can just remember this, Success Club is the, the nucleus of this whole business. You will take it to the next level. So we all know social media is huge. Whatever platform you decide to use. For me, it's Facebook. You know, I have sort of dabbled in some other stuff and I've decided for me, I just need to focus on one thing. Like I said, I swear I have ADD or whatever that's called because I just get too all over the map. So Facebook is my thing and it is amazing what you can do and who you can connect with on this platform and Instagram and Pinterest, whatever you choose. If you're working it properly, you can take your business to a whole new level. Um, but like I said in my little video a couple days ago, you need to be branding you. Social media is all about branding and that's what we need to do. But what I see when I'm out looking at other pictures is too much not branding you. What I'm seeing is too many pictures of autumn and too many pictures of, you know, Shakeology cups or stock images from the back office. Trust me, guys. Beachbody has that covered. Beachbody can sell the 21 day fix much better than we can. They have us covered. They spend millions of dollars on TV, on social media. Everybody knows what the 21 day fix is because Beachbody does that for us. We don't need to help them. You're just wasting airtime. Do you know, you don't need to be promoting autumn. What you need to be doing is branding you. 
You are the thing that makes your business different. You are going to appeal to thousands of people, you, your personality, but you have to share it. You really have to sell yourself. You have to get people to trust you and get people to know you. You need to be comfortable with social, social media. It is the biggest tool that we have if you want to take your business to the next level. New coaches, I hope that you are working your warm market right now because it is a fantastic place to be. I hope you're talking to everybody that you know right now because that is an awesome spot and I hope you can stay there for a while because they already trust you, they already know you, you just have to have the courage to talk to them. So these are the people that you already know, you already have a relationship with, you're probably already friends with them on Facebook. Get going through that list and talking to those people because it's a fantastic place, but it runs out. It runs dry. Your warm market runs dry. So if you are in this business for the long haul, you need to start thinking about what am I going to do when my warm market runs out? And that's when you need to be working hard at branding yourself to people that don't know you, what we call the, your cold market. You kind of want to think about having your own reality show. And I know lots of people say to me, oh, nobody is really going to care what I'm doing. They do. Everybody, everybody really does want to see what you're doing. They just want to see the silly little things that, you know, your life is, whether you have kids or you don't have kids or, you know, you're playing with your dog or you spilled supper all over the floor. Like all of these things just bring out your personality. You need to sell you. You need to share your life with people. I share snippets of my vision every day. I share snippets of my family every day. I share snippets of what I'm doing every day. In this slide here, there's just a couple of, of examples of some different posts that I've done. So you can see that there's a picture of a bunch of us from the cruise and we were all hanging out at a pool. So my post was all about, you know, here I am with these new friends that I would never have been with you know, this would never have happened without coaching. I'm on a earned free cruise. I'm with these amazing friendships that, you know, are new. I would never have met them before. I share things about Shakeology, but as you can see, it's not like I have a bag of Shakeology that I'm pointing to or kissing a Shakeology cup. It's me talking about that particular post was talking about an ingredient that was in Shakeology and I'm just making a post of the fact that I'm drinking that for breakfast. There's a picture of Terry and I in Nashville. So I don't just, you know, post a picture of my ticket that I won to Nashville. I post a picture of Terry and I in Nashville having a great time, having a trip that we never would have otherwise. And before and afters, you know, this picture on the bottom with dark hair and blonde hair, what do you like better? Just different and who knows, I'm probably eating peanut butter or something there and telling everyone that I eat too much. Or I just, you know, be funny and be you, but you want your posts to be you. You are the person that you're trying to sell. You need to think of your page, no matter what type of page you're using, as your, um, your storefront, just like you owned a business in downtown London. Your social media is your storefront. So I'd like everyone after this call to do sort of a test on their, their storefront. And it's the one scroll test. If I went to your social media page, whatever you're, you're using at right now, with one scroll, I should be able to tell that you're a coach. With one scroll, I should be able to see your face. With one scroll, I should be able to get to know you. Really, truthfully, in one scroll, I should be able to see, oh, she has kids, she worked out this morning, and she had broccoli for supper. Like, those are examples, but I should be able to really get a sense of your personality. And with one scroll, I should be able to tell that you have something to offer me that I can either become your business partner or I can join a challenge. And when you have a store and you have a business, you need to have a strategy. 
you need to, you know, figure out what you're going to do every single day to keep your momentum up, to keep the consistency going. The more consistent you are, the more people are going to come back and follow you. And then they're going to trust you. It's sort of like, you know, a circle effect. Like it, it just happens. The more consistent you are, the more people that will follow you, the more people that will trust you. So for a social media, I, I do really think that you need to be posting on your pages three to five times a day. I am going to say with that, if you feel that that is really overwhelming, I get it. Make sure that you're posting at least once a day and make sure that it is an amazing post. So if you feel, and I get it, I get that maybe three to five is just too much for you and that's okay. It truthfully is, but make sure that that one post is amazing. It, it's about you. It has something to do with Beachbody, but not salesy. So it's just sort of sharing why Beachbody is so important to you, whether it's the coaching opportunity or, you know, the fitness aspect of it, but make sure it's consistent. Make sure you do that every single day. So when you do start to get people that keep coming back to your page, which they will, they can be sure that they're going to see something new every single day, at least once. In my opinion, I do believe that you should be posting at least once about coaching and what it has done for you. And that really does not have to be financial. That doesn't have to mean at all financial. I know everyone right now, they're like freaking right out in their boots because I'm saying that you should be posting about coaching. I used to post about coaching in my first couple months. I would share that I was able to purchase a swing set for my daughter. I would share that the accountability that this coaching opportunity had given me because I'm in like a lifetime challenge group with challengers was amazing. I knew that I, if I hadn't signed up as a coach, I would have gained my weight back. I shared that all the time. So it doesn't, when I say talk about coaching, it doesn't mean you do a post, I'm hiring or join me. I don't mean that at all. I just mean making a post and subliminally in that message, talking about why this has been an amazing choice for you. Just think back to why you said yes to this opportunity and share it. And post at least once about one of your vital behaviors. So we all know what our vital behaviors are. And that's the other really simple part of this business. You just need to do those things every single day. That's right there in front of you. You need to invite. You need to connect. You need to do that behind the scenes stuff. Just chatting with people. Making new friends. You know, connecting with people. You need to work out and drink your Shakeology. You need to be a product of the product. You need to believe in this stuff so people will trust you. And you need to be doing some personal development. And that sort of heads back to what we talked about in the beginning, discovering your why. If you get a couple good personal development books under your belt, your why will become very, very clear. So I love to share once a day one of those things. So I may share a workout. I may share something that I've just read. You know, lots of times I'll re be reading a book and I'll think, oh my gosh, this would make a great post to talk about. So I'll share that with everyone. So that you always need a strategy for your business and do that daily. Your storefront is all about gaining trust. You know, you have to earn credibility from people. And that is where the consistency plays in. If, if you went to a store and, you know, eight times out of 10, it was closed, would you keep going there? No, you would say, forget it. I'm going to find a different store to go to that I can count on. And that's like your page. You need to be consistent with what you're sharing so people will trust you. The more consistent you are, the more they'll trust you and you'll have earned some credibility. You want to share your team's success on your page. You know, sh do shout outs for your team and your challengers. You, you want to prove to them that it's not just you having success with all this stuff. 
So here's a couple examples from my page last week. I just, you know, did a big post about how all of these people were joining our team and how amazing it was to have all these new friends and these new people on the same mission as myself. And then this post was from on Sunday when we were at Super Sunday and I probably rambled on a little bit about how awesome it was to spend the night with girls that I wouldn't have been friends with. But I'm just, I'm just sharing every single day about coaching, what coaching has done for me, about my challengers and before and a, their before and afters and their results. And I'm proving to people that this opportunity is real. And, you know, you can get amazing results from our products and it's not just me. It's not just me that has had all of this success. It's, it's a whole bunch of people that make up the success of this team. Now, something that I started to do, and this is sort of thanks to one of um, Beachbody's top coaches, Bonnie Engel, was I started handling objections on my pages. And this has been, this has proved to be, to be such an awesome thing to do because I hardly ha get objections anymore in my private messages because I have handled them ahead of time. So in my private support group, as well as my like page, I'm constantly talking about the things that people used to object with. So lots of those things can be, you know, the price of the product. I don't want to do Shakeology. I don't think this is going to work for me. You know, all the objections that you get. So what I, what I think that you should do is make a list of all the things that you thought of before you signed up as a coach. Why? What were some of the reasons you thought about that made you scared to do this? Maybe it was before you bought the challenge pack from your coach. What were some of the things that you thought, oh, I can't do this. It's Shakeology is too expensive or um, I'm never going to be able to lose the weight or 30 minute workouts aren't long enough or whatever it was. You should make a list of all of them and start doing posts about that. Start handling your objections right online. And then these people will read that and they won't have the objection anymore. You'll have dealt with all of those problems on your public page and you will have reached so many people. Um, you'll have changed their mind before you've even connected with them. You know, start talking about why you were attracted to this opportunity. What in the end changed your mind? Why, you know, how did you overcome your objections? Start talking about that publicly and then you won't have to deal, deal with them in the end. So that, I think, oh, I've got to get on my notes here. I think that's pretty much... Um, what I wanted to talk about was social media. I'm sure some of you may have questions at the end, but we can talk about that when we get finished here. Um, so my last little point was, you know, if you want to see success in this business, you just basically need to raise your standards. You know, if you really want to, you know, hit success club, don't just stop at Success Club 5. Why not just keep going? Why would you stop? I, you know, sometimes I hear people say, oh, okay, I've got Success Club 10. I'm going to sit back and relax now. And I mean, I never, ever stop, ever, ever stop because I feel like if I lose momentum, it's going to be so hard for me to build back up again. So if I keep chatting with people every single day, I keep reaching out to people every single day, yeah, maybe they won't end up, you know, being any points and who cares, but I'll have continued to build relationships every single day of every single month, which just keeps everything going. It kind of keeps that well, you know, spinning. So I never run dry. There's always people for me to talk to. I just continuously every single day connect with people and I you know there's some days I still work at the salon Tuesdays and Thursdays and Saturdays for now I'm almost done Saturdays but um, so those days I probably do only connect with three to five people 
But I promise you on the days that I am home and I'm working my business, I am connecting with like 10 or 20 people. I'm friend requesting people. I'm reaching out to old connections, old friends, and I'm reaching out to new people in my support group. I'm just consistently reaching out to people. I'm tracking it. I'm writing their names down and I'm making sure that I have this list always full of people to talk to. So I never feel panicked. I never get to the beginning of the month and feel like, oh my gosh, how am I going to reach my goals? What am I going to do today to try and find some people and, you know, clip them out of thin air? You just have to, in my opinion, just keep going. Just never, never stop, really. If you feel a passion for this, that's not hard to do. I never find it hard to talk to people. I never find it hard to take just five extra minutes to connect with a few more people. Something that scared me at first was quite honestly talking about coaching. And something that I really want to hopefully help you guys with is to not be scared about sharing that because it can really halt your business. Um, probably for the first six months of my business, I did not talk about coaching at all. I was so scared of it. I just didn't want anything to do with it. I, you know, I thought I'm just going to sell challenge packs because I love the 21 day fix and I know what it did for me. And I just want to help people do that. But I quickly realized that just selling challenge packs is hard. It's hard work and you have to sell a lot of challenge packs to really make a difference in your life. Bottom line, if you have sort of, I know it's not all about money, but you know, the bottom line is we all have bills to pay and we all have goals. And if you have big goals for this business, selling challenge packs isn't going to get you there. It, it's just the way it is. You need to have a team of people helping you. You need to have this big team of people getting you to that level of success and they will get, you know, we all work together and we all just keep growing together. And that's kind of the beauty of this business is having all of these people to help each other. You know, when I think back a couple years ago, I was doing this all by myself and then Darlene joined me and it was just the two of us kind of fudging our way through this thing. And then one would come and another would come, but now there's like all of these people and we can help each other and be one big family. And that's what all of you need to do. You need to follow in. If you're one of my coaches, my footsteps or Darlene, Megan, Justine, whoever your coach is, you guys need to start building your own teams. And it's, it's the most amazing thing. So don't be scared of it. You don't have to be making incredible money to talk about coaching you can talk about coaching just because it's awesome, just because you've met new friends and you have this support system to help you with your health and fitness, but also help you with your dreams, your, your family dreams and your why and your vision. So talk about it. If I can leave you with one little tip, make sure you're talking about coaching and thinking about your dream team and asking people to join you. This really is amazing. This has like changed so many people's lives that I know firsthand, like just in our little team. So don't be scared to talk about it. Yeah, people are going to say no because they don't understand. They don't understand yet, especially if you're a new coach. They don't understand what you're doing yet, but they will. If you kind of plant that seed and start them thinking about it, they're going to pay attention. So that's where we go back to social media. If you keep chatting about it, they'll keep seeing it. And I promise you, I have people on this team that I talked to a year ago and they said, no way, there's no way I want to do that. And they're a coach now. So it really does, it really does um, make a difference how much you talk about it. And it's my one regret that I wish I would have talked about it sooner. So I just hope that you can take that takeaway from me. And um, I think some other coaches would probably say the same thing. At the end of the day, I could sit here and who I could give you all these amazing quotes and try to motivate you and try and push you and whatever. But the end of the day, the choice is yours. You know, you create your own opportunities. And you have to decide what your vision is and 
what you're willing to do to get you there. Sometimes, you know, it is going to take some sacrifices. Maybe some of you tonight are missing your favorite TV show or whatever. You know, I used to scroll Pinterest like forever, every single night. Well, I don't do that anymore. Um, I've missed some dinners with friends to get my, to make sure I had time to work the business. You know, I, I have worked really hard and I know the other leaders on our team could say the same. We have, but we've also made that choice. So we are here to help you in whatever choice you make. You know, you can have whatever goal. They're all amazing goals. If your goal is to pay for your Shakeology, we will help you do that. If that's what you want every month just to have your Shakeology paid for and for us to support you in your fitness and nutrition goals, that's what we're here for. If your choice is to sort of zoom to the top, we will help you get there. We will, we will help you with the steps and the, the things that you need to do to get there. What I want you to know is it's the little steps that you take every day that are going to compound over time and they're going to get you to your goals. It doesn't happen overnight and it, and it takes that consistency of those vital behaviors every single day, but they're simple. This business is so simple. It's just, you know, consistency you just have to make sure the, the part that isn't simple is sort of having the the dedication to do them day after day after day until you start building up this compound effect which is a great book by the way if you haven't read it because it really um, explains this kind of point that if you just do these simple activities every single day you will 100% get to your goals and I think that is it, if I can figure out how to stop this, which will be another miracle. There. Okay, I'm going to unmute everybody. Probably in your bedroom somewhere. Does anybody have any questions? 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 Oh, hey. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yep. Can you hear me? Yep. More questions? I, I do, Michelle. Sure. Who's talking? It's Shay. Oh, hi, Shay. Hey. Sorry. That's okay. Um, I'm just finding it, I guess, I've done a free challenge group. And I got a lot of great responses from that. And I'm getting um, some people to sign up with challenge packs and, and potentially in the next group from that. But I guess I'm finding the hard transition to put this stuff on my like page. I haven't really done any of that posting. But I think that's my big scary step is how do you start that? And, and how do you just all of a sudden start saying, like I did in my opening post, I was a beach body coach. But where do you jump from that next level? So you don't sound salesy. Well, a surefire way to sound salesy is to just post all these things. So I would say just don't post anything about these things. Just post. So what, what program are you doing right now? I'm on 22 Minute Hardcore. Okay. So you can very easily post what you're eating. So you can post, a, like, post a picture of you. Sometimes is somebody posting a picture of their omelet. So you, I need to see like a picture of you eating your omelet or cooking your omelet. You know, you have to be in the picture. You don't have to say anything about 22 minute hardcore. You can just say, hey, God, you know, this is my lunch. I'm having a, I'm having like an omelet today. <laughs> And you can maybe have the, in the background. Like, there's so many ways to sort of be subliminally having that there without saying, okay, everybody, I'm having an omelet today. Would you join my challenge group? Like, you don't even have to mention that stuff. That stuff maybe, like, once in a while you mention. But really, that stuff should be talked about more behind the scenes. That's okay. where you talk about in the messages. Okay. But what's something else, Shay, that you are interested in besides Beachbody? Like, do you, what hobbies do you have? 
Yeah, and, and I've been doing that, and I, I did put a, a video on of my favorite shake recipe, and I showed the Shakeology, and I did that, and I've been doing the workout posting, what I'm doing, so I am getting good responses, and people saying, what are you doing? So that's how my conversations have started. I just felt I was not doing enough beach body stuff on there, but I think you answered my question that that's more behind the scenes stuff. And can you post on there and say next challenge is starting and then that will kind of get people going in that sense too. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Like I definitely, you know, a couple times a week will have a post, you know, it'll be something it might be a before and after of me or will really blatantly talk about the 20, 21 day fix or 22 minute hardcore and it will say right. who's joining the next challenge group or do you like like twice a week not definitely not daily yeah okay my daily posts are just more about my life like my daughter's on there a lot today i had a picture of a leopard skirt and it got more action than any post of my yeah last couple yeah, so, yeah. Definitely, like anyone, go to the leaders on the team, go to their pages. And I always tell people just do what I do, just follow, just like don't copy, but you know, just take your lead from what you're doing. If you just, just being you, just sharing what you're doing every day and sharing different things besides health and fitness. It doesn't always have to be about health and fitness. Well, like like myself today, like it was very random. I was at Winners. I took mom in to get her mammogram. And I I really honestly had two court laws that I was trying to decide. And God bless Winners for having the lights on the mirrors. That was awesome. But like I just threw it up and said A or B. And I had like 40 comments. And, um, and some of you guys commented. That's awesome. And then the reach was like 2,300 people. Like it's just, it's so, it's such random stuff. Like, and I know what you mean, Shay. Like, yeah, it doesn't all have to be beach body stuff, but it's hard in the beginning to know what to post about. But you, it's like the Truman Show. Like, you're doing the Shay Show, right? Like, so you're just, just post. The more random stuff, it seems to be the more reach you get or the more comments you get on it. Yeah. Totally. Somebody Somebody must have a blender going or something. <laughs> the background sounds. Sorry, and then I had a second question that I don't mean to take up all the time, but I'm doing the free challenge group, and I had discussions with a girl about uh, buying the 22-minute hardcore challenge pack, and we were talking, and then she came back with a no. So, you know, I said, that's fine. You know, can I touch base with you again? And she's in my free group for the – the evening challenge which is fine well I was creeping on her page <laughs> and uh, of course I see her recommending to some girl that I was just going to invite um, don't buy it just download it for free what do you do with those kind of people because they're in my free group so that's fine it's it's free and I don't mind giving her the time and suggestions but now she's going into my market a bit with saying download it for free <laughs> And I'm and I'm not naive. I know that happens, right? Or they buy it online cheaper you know, from somebody on Kijiji or something too. But yeah. how, how do you not say you can't come in my groups because you don't really want that no. to be passed in private conversations? Anyone can download stuff for free, and anyone can buy stuff from Beachbody.com or Amazon. But they can never buy you. Okay. They can never ever have you unless they're with you. Chances are she's going to download it and she's not going to see any success. But because you have been there for her, because you're still connecting with her, like I would continue to connect with her. I would actually, like, ask her, how's it going? How's, how's it going? I know you said you had those workouts. How's it going for you? Like, are you following the nutrition plan? I would connect with her until every week and or whatever. Every, what, you make that decision. But she's never going to get support from, you know, downloading it. And, and I would bet, you know, for sure, but a lot of times those people end up coming back and wanting your help because they, they didn't have success without it. We know that this works. We know that the whole system works. You know, the technology, the accountability, the workout, 
I know that that's what gets people surprised. And lots of times people will try to get it other ways, but they'll come back in the end. Does that make sense? That does, thanks. <laughs> Anyone else? No other questions? Wow. <laughs> okay. Well, I think we have a couple winners. I think Me Megan has been doing the draws for me. Okay. So the first winner is Candace. <laughs> Did you hear that, Candace? Okay. So you get a choice, Candace, because you're the first winner. Do you want the tank top or would you like the book? The lovely tank. Um, the tank top, please. Okay. And then I think it's Gina, right? Gina, you've got the book. Woo, sweet. Congratulations. <laughs> so you guys need to send me your addresses so I can send these to you, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for listening to me for however long I talked. <laughs> Okay, so no more questions, honestly, and you can ask me anything or ask anyone anything. Can I just say one thing? Yes. Yeah. You guys, whenever you get the chance, go to a live event, yeah. whether it be uh, the Super Sunday, Saturday, whatever we went to, whatever, if there's something or you just got to get to whatever the event is. Register. Or even if you don't think you're going to get it, register for the Success Club trip. Get on the wait list um, or Summit. Just, just if you don't even think you are, but honest to God, even if it's just the Super Saturday thing that maybe like we went on Sunday and it was like two hours away. And so we made a week out of it. It's such a movement. Like it's just, there's so much information. You get to bond with the girls on the team. You get to learn things, get to the live events. That's all I'm going to say. I would agree 100%. Live events are so amazing. Rob agrees too. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm not, um, like, I'm not a rah rah, woo, let's, you know, let's all drink the Kool Aid kind of girl. So <laughs> I, I had a hard time with super saturday or super sunday at the beginning because i thought oh gosh it's just gonna be a whole bunch of beach body coaches and we're all gonna have to i don't know flex our muscles and i don't know it was just kind of an odd concept for me but you you do leave with a few nuggets and you leave with um just the camaraderie that everybody is feeling kind of the same thing that you're feeling if you're struggling or if you're successful or you're comparing yourself to others like it, it's really really important to go to those events and and it's great team building like it's great to see all you guys and um so yeah i would echo echo that for sure is get yourself to an event yeah i'm like heidi like i quite frankly if i could stay in my house for the rest of my life i'd be quite happy but <laughs> um those events and the relationships that we create on this team are really quite amazing. Like I, it really is amazing to surround yourself with like, I know this sounds like so kind of cliche, but being with people that think the same as you, it's amazing. I've never really had it ever before in my life. I have lots of good friends, but we often don't think the same. We often have different visions, but when you're around people that, are doing the same thing and sort of have similar goals, it's quite, it, it's really quite amazing. I, don't, I know I've said that now a thousand times, but um, the events really bring everyone together even more and you leave with a new sense, a, a sort of a new passion. If you're feeling, one thing for sure, if you're feeling like you're comparing with each other, it's like coming together, you can kind of work through all of that stuff. And if you're having challenges, you can talk about them and get different These calls are great, but it's like takes it to a whole nother level when we all get together. So try, I know it doesn't work for everybody and, and 
hey, I was totally nervous about this kind of stuff as well, but sometimes just kind of pushing yourself and getting out of your comfort zone that first time, and then you'll never miss another one. So hopefully we'll do some just teams too, that we can all get together, just us. Go ahead. Candice just asked, what is a super Saturday or Sunday event? So basically what that is, is it's quarterly. And it's all over North America, pretty much. Like, so there is links, and I forget so how to turn on. You can actually go to look wherever there's, because there's stuff in Port Huron, there's stuff in Toronto. Like, it's all over, and you can see on a map where the Super Saturday or Sunday is. And what it is is get together, Beach Body Coach. You can bring a guest just to come out. You do a workout at the end pretty much. Um, or if you go there first, there's always a guest speaker, like say a 10 star diamond or five star diamond. And what, what has helped them in their business? The one that was on Sunday spoke about social media and um, reaching out to people and, and gaining momentum in her like page. They also had a success story like this. A guy was up there and I forget how much weight he lost, but like he was one of those that never wanted to do a workout and didn't think that he needed to work out because he worked outside in a job on construction, blah, blah, blah. But he had, he did amazing. So they spoke about that first. And then, um, then there's, um, just more motivational stuff. And then they have the guest speaker and then they do some prizes and draws and it's just a real get together kind of pump you up thing. But I think like Michelle said, the, for me, what I took away was meeting with a lot of you guys that I see you or talk to you via messenger every day. And maybe once or twice a month, I get to see you here on, you know, a live screen, but to actually get to go hang out with you guys. I love it. I love, I love that part. So it's, it's four times a year and they're all over the place and there is a, a link or a web address and I just have to find that. Or just to see where it is so that's it yeah the best part was going out for supper and lunch really yeah. <laughs> and then after too after in the hotel room and the Shop. wine lots and the of wine. wine yeah i had a headache at super sunday let's uh -oh. just say that <laughs> and i would also say um if you're not listening to the national wake-up calls like make sure that you're tuning into those um i just listened to shays from I guess yesterday, no Monday, and um, like great information, and they're they're always a great great call, um, and you can you can download them as a podcast um, and listen to them on your own time. I usually save them up for my commute, and it's awesome. It really does. It's like, oh, why am I not doing this? So simple. <laughs> That's how I feel a lot of the time. So get on those national wake up calls. The podcast app, it, if, if you have an iPhone, you can download the podcast app and you can actually download like every single wake up call from the history of time. And that was one thing when I was a new coach, I bet you I listened to those calls five times each. I would just keep listening to them over and over and over again. And I just like, it propelled my business forward for sure. And um, you can just get different tips every single time you listen to them because you're always at a different point in your business. You know, you're starting, you're, you know, that's when you're trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Like you're trying to figure out how to talk to people and how to post. But then after you've got that figured out, now you're trying to figure out, well, how am I supposed to help my new coach do that? And then you might have 10 new coaches. So you can always find new information, even with the same same calls so that's a really big big one download that app and listen to those to those calls great info okay guys well i'm i gotta get to bed it's not 30 so any other questions no okay thank you guys thanks, michelle that was great thanks michelle bye guys <laughs>